let them enjoy it and, and feel like they're a champion. You know, my pops had a great time uh, in a bubble with us celebrating. So, um, you know, it's just been a long time coming. And a lot of hard work, a lot of dedication, uh, a lot of long nights, early mornings to, to be able to you know, reach that goal, you know, reach that milestone. So uh, it, it feels great. Hey, D, obviously you're doing some, you're partnering with Mobile One, and I, I'm going to definitely get to that. So yeah. I want to I want to leave you out on that. But, you know, when you're talking about the bubble and what you did, man, you had some extraordinary games, man. The, the buzzer beater against Denver sticks out, one of the biggest shots there in that time. I, I wish for you that you would, uh, would have been able to experience, you know, just the fans being there and doing it yeah. right there. But what has it been like just – coming off of that title run, coming outside the bubble, no championship parade, you know, you're not being able to really fully engulf yourself in the celebration. What has that been like for you? Uh, it sucks, man. You know, you you wish you can celebrate with the fans, had a parade, you know, obviously you look forward to a parade. That's when you really get a chance to celebrate with the fans. Um, and like you say, shots like, you know, you know, big time shot like the buzzer beater and you know, guys where we win a championship and usually, you know, we right there in Staples and, and, you know, the fans are cheering us on. But, I mean, you you just think about this, this time, you know, time times we're in right now. Um, and no matter what, we still able to get the job done, still become champions. But it would definitely been more sweeter if we were able to have like the nation right there alongside us for sure. Hey, is there any other way, like any creative ways that you think can be done to kind of like take the place of a parade? Is there anything you guys have discussed? Um, I don't know. I mean, there's nothing you can do, especially with the spread of COVID. So I think that's the that's the main thing. Well, that's the only reason, you know, why. So um, if you if we can come up with a creative way or something like that to kind of involve the fans where when they're outside. I mean, you can't trust everyone to wear a mask, you know. Yeah. And even then, you know, with uh, such a crowd like that, um, I don't think it was, you know, stop the spread of COVID. So I think, uh, you know, we should come up with a creative way to try to figure out how we can involve the fans and have a parade, you know, sort mm -hmm. of thing to um, do it. But, uh, I mean, I guess we'll, we'll just have to, you know, just see how it plays out, especially yeah, when the Dodgers won it too, you know? Yeah, no, no doubt. That, that's a historic time in L.A. So you would like to see see, see if there could be something that could be done before yeah. the season starts. For sure. Absolutely. So you getting back, you know, obviously the championship is there. And I, I've been in, I was in there 106 days, A.D., and I was pulling for you guys to start back in January. And I wouldn't have been mad if it started back in March. So with, with it just being a quick turnaround, being that it's going to be December 22nd now, and you guys have to report to camp December 1st, was that something you were surprised by, such a, a quick turnaround? I was surprised. Um, I think a lot of guys were surprised, but um, we feel like that's kind of what the league already had in, in place. Um, it was just, you know, it was surprising to us because it's something that was never talked about. You know, even Adam came out and said it would be – I'm very unlikely to start on Christmas, probably something around January. So uh, when the December 1st thing even came out, hit the media, and then they came and talked to us about it, it was just very surprising seeing that, you know, when training camp starts, um, you know, we'd only had about six weeks. You know, it's unfortunate, but hey, <laughs> got to get back to it. You know, there's nothing we can do about it. Okay. Now I want to ask about being this is – it's the off season. It's a funny time to be the off season, but it still is the off season for the NBA right now. And last off season, like your name was the biggest name. Like you were the talk. Everything was driven by you. You know, once you fell off, once your situation fell in place, it was everybody else. So now, right now, this off season, it's it's, it's a couple guys out there that people are talking about. You talking about James Harden, Russell Westbrook with Houston. Think things are floating around with with that. What as as a as a guy now who's a champion and you've gotten past those days of, right. you know, falling and, you know, maybe you looking at other alternatives. What do you think about when you hear big names like that? That's primarily on the same team that's um, looking to go elsewhere. Um, I think those guys just want to win. 
you know, like I said, I was in that situation last year, you know, where I wanted to to win, um, and I was able to get the job done, you know, the following year. But you know, you got two guys like JH and, and, and Russ, um, you know, two guys who made a ton of money, you know, who guys who who now looking to win. Like I want to, I want to win, and I'm not saying they didn't want to win before, but you know, you know, uh, Russ, you know, been there, you know, one year. James been there. What, eight years, six years, seven years, something like that. So, you know, um, and then when, so now he's looking, you know, if it's true, I'm not sure. I haven't talked to any of them or don't know, but if it's true, they're both looking, you know, you know, looking to move forward and, and try to compete for a championship. Um, at, the, at the end of the day, you know, you know, you come to this league, you know, to make a ton of money, but, you know, you want to win. You want to be a champion. You want to have that feeling. So, uh, like I said, those guys, are probably in that in that stage right now where they want to compete for a championship. Now, AD, there's always going to be times and periods where guys want to make a move, and that move might not be popular by the fans. Is there any way that players can try to be better educate fans on how this works? You know, you know, showing that it's not personal. It's it's not like, but. You know, at, at a certain time, a player feel like they need to take care of themselves. Is there a better way that fans can be more educated or you think it's always going to be that way? I think it's always going to be that way. You know, when I was going through my situation, you know, someone told me it's like breaking up with your girlfriend, man. You've been yeah. with your relationship with your girlfriend for a long time, and obviously they're going to be upset. They're going to be upset. You know, it's, it's emotions tied to it, you know, feelings tied to it, and, they, and they're going to be upset. And then after a while, they'll – They'll get over it and move on. I mean, but you know, I think it's just, I think it's just unfortunate that you know when a team wants to trade a player, you know, um, you know, it's always business. You know, it's nothing personal. Yeah. But when a player acts, it can never be business. It's always personal. You know, uh, I think the fans need to understand, like, you know, especially if your team isn't winning, you know, and you know a team isn't doing anything to help that. Uh, or maybe they are. Maybe their team is doing something to help that, but it's just not working out. You know, you just can't win. It's probably time to move on and try something new. Okay, we th we take a talk about situation being better. Perfect segue. Uh, you know, teams when they want to repeat, defend that title. You know, not not every. You know, it's, it's it's seldom that the team just stays pat all the way down. Your team, you know, made some news today, being being Monday. You know, with the okay, Chris Paul. I don't, Paul. I don't, I don't uh, have a team, Chris. You know, skill, skill. Oh, well, I haven't even got to that yet, AD. I haven't got to that. You, you getting, you getting ahead of me. You getting ahead Sorry. of me. Sorry. You don't have a team. All right. There's one team that made a move. I say that that team is the Los Angeles Lakers. They made a move. They acquired one of the baddest six men out there. One, one point guard, Dennis Schroeder, yep. and they acquired him. What you gotta say about that specific team over there? <laughs> what, what you think it does for them? Um, it's a great pickup, you know, with uh, shoulder alongside LeBron, um, you know, and, and, you know, other guys, they just have to opt in whatever. But I think it was a good pickup, you know. Um, like you say, one of the – can easily win six men of the year, any given year. Um, played great alongside, you know, CP and uh, Shea. Um, and I think that, um, you know, he's tough. You know, he, he shot the ball well this year. He can get in the paint. Uh, he can find guys, and, and he's, he's very, very scrappy. So uh, I think it was a good move, a uh, good pickup for the Los Angeles Lakers. Okay, that's a good move. And I had to ask you, you know, I, I broke some news myself yesterday, A.D. I don't know if you read the news. I don't know if you look at social media. I but I broke, I broke that sources told me that Anthony Davis is opting out of his deal, become a free agent, which will make him, you, the number one free agent out there. What do you have to say about just how this process is going to play out? I pretty much know what you got to say, but I got to ask. <laughs> um, yeah, I, 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 my, all my free agent questions is, is, will go to my agent, Rich Paul. Okay. I, I kind of knew that. I could have did sources <laughs> and reported that. I got to <laughs> ask, though. So let's move, let's move on since you didn't give that question any gas. Maybe you give this question some gas. You're a partner with Mobile One. You see that segue right there? Gas, yeah, mobile, mobile yeah, yeah, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so you part, you're partnered with Mobile One, um, and so 
obviously fans are going to have an opportunity to kind of win some free swag. Like, can you just talk about that partnership, how it came together and, and what it entails? Yeah, me and Mobile One teaming up again. You know, we're teaming for fans to, to kind of get involved. And people need to know that's, that's going to be such a, a dope gift 